Since we started in 2005, God has helped us to produce nine powerful, educating, and inspiring gospel drama books, plus stories behind great hymns of faith. Title, Where is a Dreamer? Back to the Palace. The King is still interesting. Silent Operation is not over. Just like a dream, the royal scepter. Something must have happened. Hand the great demand. You can get for wholesale and retail purchase from his glory ventures on Nietzsche and Ambra State, Pilgrims Bible Center, Harrison City Day Spring Parish, Portacot, and Divine Mysteries Worldwide, Portacot, River State, Nigeria. For marketing and distribution information, please call his glory ventures 070 68 217 183. For any other inquiries and administration bookings, please call 081 33 417 519 or 080 74 32 7776 or 080 34 77 6644 and 081 320 30836 or send an email to divine at yahoo.com. God will bless you. Amen. Let it be to me, let it be to me, let it be beyond my expectation, let it be. Let it be to me, let it be to me, let it be beyond my expectation. Let in this house. Did you hear me? Look, there won't be any trouble. There will not be anyone. Both of us are mature enough to get married. In fact, if Oga and Madame should hear these good names, they'll be very happy and even sponsor our wedding. Hmm? Ah! Yes! Yes! Hi! Right now, why? This will take a lesson and tell you how serious I am. It's your process of She slapped me. So this girl have the got to slap me just because I want to sleep with her. Doesn't mean think I want to marry her. How? Oh. What do I do to make this babe fall for me? Oh. How do I how do I convince her to make her believe I really want to marry her? Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. I know what it is. Take this. Make sure you apply it to your eyes. 
Do a woman applies her eye pencil? When she sees you, she will fall in love with you. Automatically and permanently. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. My money. Oh, yes, your, your money. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Emeka, what's your problem? You. You are my problem. <laughs> See, I am seriously dying for your love. Really? Yes, I'm very serious. Now, can you... You're welcome. They are small. What is wrong with you? What did you eat? This is the third time you are vomiting. In the past four hours. What is really wrong with you? Ma, I think it's malaria, ma. I think it's still in my body. Malaria. 
after spending all the money in the hospital, the antibiotics, and you're telling me it's still malaria. Okay, I know what to do. We'll go back to the hospital and see the doctor. Hmm? And he will certainly confirm what is wrong with you. Hmm? So go and get ready. Are you coming? Oh, sorry for keeping you waiting. Yeah, it's okay. The test is done. Okay. And here's the result. Oh, thank you. Yeah. She's six weeks pregnant. <laughs> I didn't know more. for that thing. I don't know, sir. <laughs> you don't know? <laughs> Listen to this, Nikumpo. <laughs> uh, so, do I then take it that there are so many men involved? Oh, oh, oh it must be careful the blues to sleep with you. Maybe. <laughs> Listen, let me tell you. Go and find out whoever did this thing to you. Because you cannot stay in my house, eat my food, drink my water, and you give me this. It's impossible. Now, before I open my eyes, get lost. I said, get out! <laughs> Useless thing. Honey, can you just imagine this? I'm sorry. No. I'm deeply sorry. About what? The pregnancy, you know. <laughs> so what about the pregnancy? I'm sorry I didn't tell you who is responsible now. So who is the father? Open your mouth and tell us who is responsible now. If that is what you want to tell us. No, it, it was the day my dad sent me to the market where... Yeah. On my way back where... Yeah. The man asked me 
to come and see an abandoned baby in an uncompleted building. I never knew it was a trick. That was the day an unknown man raped me. Did you see me? <laughs> You don't just told us. Oh God. You mean you went through all this and you never told us all this while? I was ashamed, man. Ah, poor thing. You don't need to be ashamed. It's enough for you to confide in us. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, Joe. It's okay. Congratulations. She delivered a bouncing baby boy. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And the mother and baby are in good condition. Oh, yes. <laughs> Man, this is good news. This is good news. Doctor, please, can we see her now? Oh, why not? Oh, thank you very much. Honey. Yes, yeah. Don't you think as we have decided to take Teresa in? It is also wise for us to let them know our intentions. Yeah, that's thoughtful of you. By the way, where are they? I think they should be in the room. Mm, call them for me. Baby. I just finished feeding him, so he's taking it up. My wife and I have decided to take over the responsibilities of Richard. <laughs> Thank you, Ma. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yes. And that means that whatever you need, don't hesitate to let us know. We will take care of it. Thank you, Ma. Thank you, sir. You had her? Anything. Anything that you and your child may need. At any time, any day, do not hesitate to ask. This is your house. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. You're welcome. Thank You're you welcome. so much. Uh -huh. Elder Maxwell, my brother, are you sure of what you are saying? I am very, very sure. And it's our son that is sponsoring the young girl and her bastard son. Instead of him to think of how to get his own child. It is serious. After many years of marriage. <laughs> Martins, I don't know what you are thinking. But I strongly think that the problem is not from our son. But from that wound of a wife he married. Look at everybody in our family. Who amongst us is barren? Who is not living a comfortable life? Our forefathers, our fathers before us, had all they needed. And they did all they needed to do. Uh -huh. I mean, I can clearly remember that our fathers did all the sacrifices so that no woman married into this family 
will be barren. And not till date. Everybody except uh, Lambert. Sabi, we are very, very fertile. Very true. Good. You now see why I say the problem is not from our son. But from that wood of a wife he married. I agree with you. But the issue now is what do we do? Remember, he is still our soul. I know what we must do. We advise him to get a second wife. And the entire family will support him. I agree. Definitely, the second wife is what he needs. Yes, and she's going to give him children to prove to her that she's at fault. Yes, in fact, I am going to him right away to tell him the decision of this family. Don't waste time. Go and see him. We must push away this shame this woman is bringing on our son. He will succeed. about Theresa and her son and our decision to keep them. What about it? Darling, I was thinking maybe we can give her some money or better still pay her off. By that at least she can start a business or something. She can take care of herself and her son. By that, we won't have to keep her here. Adia. Yes. Okay, I'm thinking. Since we agreed to keep them here with us, primarily to take care of them and their security and welfare, I think it would not be wise for us at this stage to send them away. Okay? And if we send them away now, then how do we take a proper care of them? Look after their security and their welfare? That's what I think. Tell me, it's not as if I don't care about them or their security. It's just I don't want to begin to work, especially those relatives of yours. Say that. Yes. I feel for you. I can understand you. All right. But let me assure you, you don't have to contend with anybody. Yes. Look into my eyes. Do not bother yourself with whatever anybody will say. But it's what I say that matters. My dear, you have me anytime, any day. Let anybody say anything. It is what I say about you that matters. <sighs> my dear. Thank you very much. It's your food. There's nothing to worry about.
Yes, the Jinalamba's residence. What? Accident? Where? 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 <laughs> Richard, this is why you are very excited today. What did happen? Uncle, they gave us our term results today and I happen to be the best pupil in the whole of Prime Really? Are you serious? I'm so happy to hear that. So I'm not surprised. Remind me to buy a very wonderful gift for you. Eh? Something special, okay? Okay, sir. <laughs> Brilliant boy. Bomba Nodinari has help. Well, wherever God says one we reach in life, he or she will surely get it, no matter where the journey starts from. family have met and took a decision. Since our brother did not have any child before joining our ancestors, there is no need for a house help. The drivers 
and a great man. So, we'll give you few hours. Pick your things and get out of this premises. We wish you well, the life and your future endeavor. <laughs> Yes, young girl. What do you have to say? I wish I had a witness today. So that I don't appear to be a liar. But God of heaven and the dead is my witness. That my late boss is the father of my son, Lisa. <laughs> Should I be happy? I was born into a rich home. We are supposed to be enjoying those riches now. But look at where we found ourselves. Hmm? Is it not better for me to just die than to. Ah, Richard! Please don't say that. You are my only hope. You are all I have. Ah. I keep asking you day in, day out. But I don't want to tell me. Tell you what? About my father. <sighs> Your father. It is an experience I told no one.
by your experience and what your father told you. Yes, hello. That's right. This is engineer on the line. Oh, yes, sir. Yes. Oh, no problem, sir. Yes, sir. I will get back to you very soon. Bye bye, sir. Uh, driver. Yes, sir. Uh, we have to turn back. I need to pick up some documents in the house. All right? All right, sir. So find a convenient place to turn back. Okay, sir. This is another business opportunity. Money is coming in from different angles, from different sources. A bit of what joy and use is it when there is money without children? Who's going to enjoy all this money and, uh, and all my investments? My friend, who to think of it? You join our ancestors. Who will take care of all your investments or who will inherit them? My advice to you, my friend, is that you should take another wife. Take another wife. Who will give you a child? Ah, another wife? Yes. God forbid. I cannot take another wife. My friend, God will not forbid anything. He will not because I am telling you the truth. It's an advice that I'm giving to you. Besides, I'm not telling you to chase her out of the house. After all, you have all it takes to cater for anybody, as many wives as you can. <laughs> My friend, I thank you. I understand your concern. It's not as if I don't have what it takes to have more than one wife. I can have as many with my resources. Yes. But I don't have the strength to take care of more than just one Who wife. Who told you that? Besides, I love my wife. And that is just it. My friend, why I'm telling you this is because you're my friend. We have come a long way. And I can wash you. Wasting, I, I, sorry to put it if I, if I may say that this, you are wasting without, you can't stay without having a child. Please, I want you to think about this. Thank you. I'll think about, about it. it. I'll think about it. Please. Okay, we don't reach out. Oh, okay. Teresa. Ah, welcome, sir. Yeah. Where is my wife? Ah, no, madam is not her answer. Ah, where did she go? She went to the salon. How long ago? It's not been long, like 15, 20 minutes ago.
Uh, Teresa. Come. Sir. There is something you have to do for me in my room now. In your room, sir? Yes. Now. Thank you. At least I'm happy now. There is a proof now that nothing is wrong with me as a man. Yeah, I'm happy. Ah, but please, I beg you in the name of God, don't let anybody know that I'm responsible for this pregnancy. Not even my wife. All right? I will let it out at the appropriate time myself. Do you understand? Now, don't worry. I will take a proper care of you and the pregnancy. And even the baby when it eventually comes. All right? Okay. Madame is beginning to suspect though. Suspect what? Oh, no, 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 no. Please. Don't open your mouth to tell her that I'm responsible. I don't want to break her heart. Or else, I might lose my wealth. How, oh, sir? Her father made me what I am today. He established our business for us. <laughs> and so, if you let her know that I'm responsible, you know what that means? So what do I tell her now? <laughs> anything. Just anything. Think of something. Fabricate a lie or something. Ah. Uh, you may tell her somebody somewhere raped you. Just anything. Yeah. I will corroborate whatever you tell her. Don't worry. Hey. So he was my father. All the riches, all the landed properties, everything. We're supposed to be enjoying. You have not gotten rid of it. We want you to get rid of all this and gather up your life and continue. It is God that took the life of your mother. That is a wise answer from an elder. She wouldn't have. Mama, 
She suffered. Who me suffered? carried out is the same as that of the ones we did three years back. And the result is that medically, both of you why don't you think of adoption?
I will get back to you by next week. And then I must have had a chat with you. And then I will get back to you and let you know the outcome of our discussion. Yes, yes. About discussion, yes. Okay. Alright. So hard, so terrible. I felt there is no need to continue, than to just end it there. Richard, Sir. your story can't end there because there is God. I want to give you some few words of advice. When the going gets tough, it's only the tough you can get going. Because when you're going in life, gets tough, it means you have to get tough to get going. You'll be doing yourself a great disfavor if you allow what you're passing through, the control. Rather take control of your situations. What happens to a man doesn't matter. It is what a man does with what happens to him that matters. Your attitudes towards life and issues of life will determine the height you will get to in life. When your life is filled with challenges today, it does not mean that you will have those challenges for a lifetime. No. It's only an indication that you haven't succeeded yet. But if you have determination, you will surmount all those challenges and succeed. Because where there is a will, there is a way. I will discuss with my wife and see where we can come into help. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Richard, sir. It is quite a pathetic story. Especially in the area about the death of the sponsor and your mother. After she had tried her best to take care of the sponsorship of your education. So I have had some talk with my girl wife. 
على الوجه السادس الشيء مو بيستاهل في أصلا Thank you Thank you You see This is the twelfth year of our marriage and we don't have a child of our own yet We strongly believe that God will be happy if we take you in as a son because we would have said that so. So for my efforts, your responsibilities will be on us. Ah, thank you, sir. Thank you. We will stop. We will the sponsor and your mother stopped. We will take over from where they stopped. So, welcome to your new home, son. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'll go upstairs. I have some things to do there. Okay. I'll meet you later. I'm, I'm good with that. That's okay. Thank you, sir. I'll meet you later. I just want to spend some time I'm with okay. my son. Mom, thank you so much. Oh. Hello. Thank you, Um, I call you Richard, my son. <laughs> um, but Richard, there's something I want to talk with you about. Um, I I noticed a vacuum in your life that needs to be filled. Yes. You see, I sense this emptiness in you. And I believe it shows the absence of Jesus Christ in your life. See, Richard, God is set to gather the broken pieces of your life. He wants to give you hope. He wants to give you a future. It will be great joy to us if you will willingly and totally surrender your life to Jesus Christ. Um, I guess I need to give you some time to think about it. Yes, I don't want it to be like I'm pushing you into it or forcing you to do it. You need some time to think. But I want to tell you that Jesus in your life is the best thing that could happen to anyone, especially you. Our lives are living testimonies of this fact, this truth. But like I said, let me give you some time to think. Uh -huh. Maybe when you make up your mind, we'll talk to me. I'm ready, man. No, just like that. I'm very much ready, ma'am. Are you sure? Yes. You made up your mind? Were you thinking about it before, ma'am? Yes. Spring. I just spring. You just said to me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I thank you, sir. I thank you, sir.
it is not true God for you. And you know when God will write you off, you don't need to write off yourself. Once you are born again and you are righteous, Santa seven, Pastor seven says, watch the righteous. Behold, his hand is peace. If you have righteous, given your life to Jesus, and you are walking in accordance with the will of God, I tell you the future is great. John 10, 10, the scripture says, the devil comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But you see, you don't put the full stop when God has not put the full stop. The devil wanted to put the full stop in that scripture, for God didn't allow it. He said, but I have come, hallelujah. He said, I have come, so that you might have life, and have it more abundantly. But I want to tell you tonight, for you to enjoy life in abundance, there is need for destiny heaven in your life. In Matthew chapter 27, when Jesus was to pay for the death of mankind on the cross of Calvary, he was going to Golgotha. And as he goes to Golgotha with the cross, he became tired. He became weary. And I'd like you to know that Jesus was God manifested in man. Hallelujah. There is somebody that Jesus prayed for and he will say it's getting better. Instantly, the sickness will disappear. The other day, Lazarus was dead for four days. He called in forth, and all the organs were manufactured of the him, and he came to life. This same man needed help. Can you imagine? That is for you to know that there is no devil you are here tonight. You need help from somebody, and that help will do it. God sent man to help Jesus. The Bible says the soldier saw a man by side, by his side of the sinner. And he said, carry this cross for him. And he carried the cross for Jesus. I am praying for you tonight. In the name of Jesus that is above all name, your life never has been located. Yes. 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 Do not forsake God. Don't forsake the garden of the people of God. It shall be well with you. Yes. You will not be defeated. Amen. It is well with you. told you not to wash the cars. There are people whose job it is to wash the cars. For as much as I'm concerned, washing cars in this house is not part of your work. Daddy, since I woke up early, I have nothing to do. I decided to do a little exercise, sir. Okay. Next time, don't do this. Daddy, I saw this. You saw this in the car? Yes, sir. I've been looking for this 100,000 for some time now. This is good. Thank you so much. You are wonderful. And you too. Send me all along. I'm running late to reach. All right. Oh, right. You see him in the home? Yeah. I 
have been cooking. Wow. Preparing your favorite <laughs> dishes to work out. Verse 3. If anyone thinks he is something, when he is nothing, he is himself. Mother and child. What are you teaching your son? Or rather, are you teaching her what to learn at the NYC camp? Yes, sir. <laughs> I hope you won't teach her the one she will use to beat <laughs> okay. me on the head. Have I ever done that? I, no, I know you wouldn't do that. Okay. okay. So, Richard, yeah. now you're through with NYC. What's next? of submitting my CVs to some companies, attend some interviews, even call to resume work. I will, and by the grace of God, work hard and grow in ranks. Okay, CV, applications and order. It's good to know you have a plan. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's good. Uh, but then, um, we have given it a little thought, your mother and I. <laughs> and we will think to proper for us to make a space for you in, in one of the companies so I can come in as a general manager. No! <laughs> God bless you, ma. God bless you, sir. Thank you, Lord. That's okay. You men, all you think about is work, work, work. Let me say the one that concerns me. I hope very soon you introduce to us the lucky lady. Are you saying? No, 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 no. I can't be no, no, no. I... ah. Richard, sir, fine. In as much as we're in a hurry to see you settle down and carry our grandchildren, take your time, sir. Is that how you took your time when you came? The world goes to be lived in them. It's quite different from what we have. This is the computer image. Forget that. That's where it should be faster. So that, first uh, week, according to what you shared with us, I have a question for you. Go ahead. Is it everybody you come across that you help? Oh, well. Um, Richard, I, I, I would say that the answer to your question is embedded in the scripture. You see, God enjoins us as good Christians to do good. And uh, part of doing that good is having to help those who are in need of help. But there is a right there, especially unto those who are of the household of faith. You see, God appreciates the fact that everybody, at one time or the other, would need help. Even God, sometimes we need the help of man. That's why He created us. You remember the story of Phinehas, the man who smote the Israelites and the Midianite woman when Israel sinned against God and the wilderness of sin. The Bible says that God was pleased with Phinehas because he was zealous for God. Jesus Christ was God incarnate when he walked on earth. But he needed help at one time or the other. He had 12 disciples. When he took the long, arduous journey to Golgotha, at the time he was tired, he could not carry the cross anymore. God did not send an angel. God sent a man, Simon, to help him carry the cross. The lesson from all these is that when God has given you a divine mandate, when God has given you a destiny, you would need destiny helpers. And God places those destiny helpers along your way to your destiny. 
think our life story illustrates that better. I was not born with a silver spoon in the mouth. I come from a family of six. That is, we were four children born into that family. A family that was so poor and miserable that the poorest of the poor called us poor. People didn't want us to share it with us. Because of the level of poverty that dwelt in our family. Of all the four children, I was the only one who managed to complete my primary education. Yes. Others had to drop out because there was no money with which to train them. Did I mention that I was the first child? No, sir. So you can appreciate the pressure that was on me. You can understand. My siblings looked up to me. So I had to learn to struggle at a very young age. You see, there was a time there was scarcity of petroleum products in the country. And within that period, our filling station was the only filling station that could boast of fuel. On a very good day, people would queue up with their money to fetch fuel. And they would beg to be let into the filling station to buy food. That was the situation. On a particular day, a manager, a very strict and shrewd man, gave us directives to stop allowing people into the filling station. They asked us to reserve the remaining field for special customers. So you can imagine the dilemma I had when a certain man, Engineer Lambert, walked up to me and begged to be let into the filling station by fuel. He said he had a business appointment he had to keep. I was trying. I let him in. He got his fuel, but I got a sack. Yes. A manager ordered that I be sacked with immediate effect. Yeah, my friend. Sir. I really thank you for what you did for me the other time when I came to your station for fuel. I, I thank you so much. Thank you, sir. After that incident, I came to your station to thank you, and I was made to understand that you've been sacked. Yes, sir. So, so when I asked, they said it was as a result of what you did for me. Your boss got to know about it, and uh, he sacked you. Yes, sir. So I was touched. So I asked for your contact, and uh, was given. 
I came to your place, you went around, and so I left a message that you should come and see me. So thank you for honoring that uh, invitation. Uh, the reason why I called you is just to show my appreciation. Thank you so much for what you did for me. You see, that day that you gave me fuel, you saved me in the agony of losing a, a contract of over 150 million naira. If I had lost that contract that day, I doubt if I would have been able to make it in life. So that fuel you gave me that day uh, gave me that contract. And so when I came to your station and I was told your story, I was moved. Uh, so I said I must see you and appreciate you. Now, one good thing they say deserves another. What would you all like to be in life? Sir, anything. I just want to be somebody in life. I don't want to just exist. I want to live a purposeful life. But you see, Richard, that was the turning point of my life. Ujida Lambert took over my training. He sponsored me through the secondary school and the university. When I was done with school, he opened my eyes to the line of business that made me who I am today. That made me one of the people to be reckoned with, not just in our family, but society at large. I'm sure by the time you count the top 10 aluminum companies that have made impact in this country. You mentioned our company. All thanks to Engineer Lambert. Engineer Lambert made it possible for me to travel and live abroad for 15 years. For those 15 years, I never lost contact with him. I made sure I called him every now and then. To find out how he was fair. So it was a real shock. To learn of his unfortunate demise. Engineer Lambert died in a ghastly motor accident. Alongside his wife. I haven't gotten over that yet. <laughs> God. You seem to be so moved by this story about Eugenia Lambert, my benefactor. Danny. It rings a bell. It rings a bell? He was my father.
are you? Are you alright? What? What? Huh? What? I, I, are you okay? Huh? Are you alright? Yeah. She's sweating. Can I put the fire on, please? Do we need to get to the hospital now? I'm busy. Oh my god. Can you get a driver to get the car ready so we can take her to immediately? I need some help. Oh my god. <laughs> Doctor, when your wife got here, we carried out a series of tests on her, and everything was normal. So, so we decided to carry out a pregnancy test on her. And I am glad to inform you that your wife is four weeks pregnant. Son to my late friend is here today. <coughs> Mr. William, who is also a friend to the late engineer, came to me yesterday all the way from Enugu with Richard. happy because we all have been looking for him all this while but here he is we thank God today contrary to some people desire Richard is not dead at this point I would like to hand over to the late engineer's lawyer. I greet everyone here present. I am Barrister Mrs. Janet Nguke from Mercury Law Chambers. The elders of this family should still be able to recognize my face. I was the one that brought a court injunction we are stating that nobody should tamper with the late engineer Lambert's property until his son Richard comes back. Then the will will be unsealed. Since the world is developing technologically, I do wish to do my presentations via the television screen. The last will. 
and testament of engineer Lambert Parker of number 67 Brentford Street for their court. This will supersedes all other wills, testament, or codicil that may have been made by me hitherto. I, Engineer Lambert Parker, hereby declare that I have willingly made the following will and testament with full mental and testamentary capacity in the presence of the undersigned witnesses and that I am in control of my full mental faculty. I hereby appoint Barrister Tony Timbuke of Mercury Law Chambers to be my sole executor of this will. Number one, I hereby declare, recognize and proclaim Richard Lambert, born of Miss Teresa Abraham, my erstwhile house help, as my true biological son and worthy of every respect and recognition availing same. Number two, I therefore bequeath all my properties, movable and immovable, to my son and here, Richard Lambert. Number three, I hereby give my son, Richard Lambert, all my monies and all savings, current and domiciliary accounts, in all banks where I have deposits, all debts, Old me shall be paid to him as well. Number four, I hereby transfer my position as the managing director and chief executive officer of Lambato Aluminium Company upon my death to my son Richard Lambert. Also, my shares in the said company, control, office, and advantages are going to same. I give over to him. Number five, without prejudice to paragraph one, Sopra, I bequeath my residential house situate at 67 Rentford Street, Portacourt, to my wife, Mrs. Rosalind Lambert Parker, who shall have same subject to the following conditions. One, she shall not remarry upon my demand. Number two, she shall hold same as a cool trustee for my son Richard, who shall have full right to live in same. Number six, I am a good churchman and world wants to be given full Christian barrier with all religious trappings. Signed, sealed, and delivered by the within named testators the year and day first above written in the presence of all. One, Barrister Janet Mbuke and Mr. Abraham Paul, who in the presence of each other hereby witness to this will. Thank you and God bless you. My son, congratulations. <coughs> you're welcome. Mr. Williams, you're welcome. <coughs> Please, forgive our ignorance. My elders, I greet you all. It was not your fault. Neither was it my father. I can't blame my late mother either. Rather, it was the devil who wanted to truncate my destiny. 
but I thank my Lord Jesus Christ. For bringing me thus far, if not God, I would have been forgotten today. God, this is beyond my expectation. Let it be to me, let it be to me, let it be beyond my expectation. Let